Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4 Power Armor Only Survival Mode Challenge Run. Did I say that right? Who cares? Uh, let's go punch Kellogg. So last time I was like, hey, we're gonna be fighting Kellogg. Isn't that awesome and whatever. So uh, let's just do it. Zero concern. Let's just see how this goes. I I'm literally doing this as like a bit of a trial run. Just to see how tough the Kellogg fight would be if I just charged in and punched Kellogg. And honestly, this is going a lot better than I expected. Dogmeat is doing an amazing job of just keeping him... Oh, I keep pressing V instead of... <laughs> instead of what should I call it? Uh, instead of my bats button. Um? You know what? This is... This is going way better than it has- Oh, I'm about to die. Alright, and Kellogg's fully healing up. This is fine. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that was... That was supposed to be just like a basic test to be like, Oh, okay, just how challenging of a fight is this gonna be? But that was real close to beating him, when I really wasn't even trying that hard. That is, um... That is something. Alright, so I've got Parasites. Uh, thank you to everyone who left suggestions in the comments. The main one, which we're going to do somewhat of, was chem stacking. People being like, hey, you can stack like buff out with buff tats, and you can stack psycho with psycho jet. So yeah, I I'm probably just going to do a chem stack, beat him up a whole bunch, and see how that works. Also, had someone pointing out that um, sleeping to get the well-rested bonus also grants you additional agility and endurance in survival mode. Which, I don't know if I didn't know that, or if i just forgotten it, but that's like a really, really useful thing to know. So, getting like a full night's sleep, extra beneficial when you're in survival. But I don't think I'm going to need that for now. I am just going to walk up to Kellogg, get real close, and chem time! <laughs> Alright, I think Psycho, Psycho Jet, Buff Tats. Yeah, let's do all three of those and a couple of water. Still thirsty, still parched. There we are. Pa power attack, please. Oh no, it's trying to get me into dialogue with him. There we go. Alright, <laughs> I'm just spamming the power attack button. As much as I can. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Yes, there's Kellogg down! That was like four power attacks just in a row on all the chems. I, I actually overdid it. I probably could have done that just with Psycho Jet, but it stops Kellogg from going invisible, stops him from healing. That was excessive. What's my damage? Okay, 42 damage. It's, it's not crazy, I guess, but... Um... Oh, wait a second. It's not showing me Psycho as stacking. Do the chems actually stack? Sorry, everyone, for the weird little cut there. Uh, I was having a slight audio issue that I had to deal with. Everything seems fine now, though. So, back on recording. That was... I was worried I... There was a really weird thing going on with the waveform. Turns out it was nothing, but I was genuinely worried that I had just lost everything. But I didn't, so it's all good. And we beat Kellogg. So, victory was achieved. Um, I mean, I can't wear his outfit, even though Kellogg's outfit looks great. Like, I love it. It is gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Uh, let's just... Oh, this tech. Take everything. Yeah, we're barely Wait. human. Oh, and oh, I knocked the gun out of your hand. Hell yeah. There we go. There's Kellogg's pistol as well. Pick that up just for the sake of it. Man, this entire episode was going to be dedicated to killing Kellogg. And just did it. Done. Within like five minutes, I think Excellent. that was. I mean, real time, it was about five minutes. So, yeah, that was so easy. I mean, turns out when you're in enclosed space and can just stack up on chems, things are pretty decent. My armor is wearing down, and it's. I think it's clear that the difficult battles for this run are going to be like the extended ones. When I have to go through an entire area 
and fight every single enemy along the way, that's when I think it's going to do me in. Which means I am not looking forward to the Corsa later on. But what I can look forward to is just, yep, checking there's nothing else. Going through the terminals. I, I mess up this section so often, I forget to view the access logs. Because all you need to do is open the doors and you can leave. But there have been so, so many times in the past where I just haven't viewed the logs. And then you get to Nick and uh, like, oh, wait, I need to go back to Fort Hagen. Which I think was the consensus for how it's going to be pronounced. Yeah, I need to go back to Fort Hagen and just read this one terminal entry because I didn't do it. And oh, that's always annoying. But if I manage to mess that up on survival, well, that's a long walk back. Alright, uh, all good, all good, all good. Let's just get the elevator up. Oh, wait, Mechanical Menace has started. Oh, I'm guessing I was right level of that or whatever. Uh, if I click this terminal, I believe, yes, there's turret control. Very important, because I left all the turrets alive, and they can shred me. And then the security door. Okay, that one just tells you it's locked, and the top one is what opens it. Excellent. Out we go, and there they are. The Brotherhood of Steel. People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. Ta-da! We're gonna go and get aboard that ship, which I wasn't planning for like another episode or two, but... Oh, I, th I just want to be able to like stick my thumb up and hitchhike. Uh, oh, I need to listen to the military frequency apparently for that. But I um, am always worried about... Oh, blast it. About copyright, so <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have the radio sound turned up at all. <laughs> in case I accidentally turn on a radio on my inventory and it messes things up, but all it is is go talk to dance, which I think we can manage. Um, there is a part of me which really just wants to save right now, but let's check the map. So, alright, that walk there, how dangerous is that? Oh wait, that's the super mutant facility, isn't it? But I don't know what's on this side. If I could just walk over that, then we can make it, yeah, back to Nick easy enough. He'll then take us to Good Neighbor. Cause, or we could just go to Nick, then go up that way, then Good Neighbor in the future. I don't know, but either way, I think I'm going to risk this. Because I know that place is danger. But maybe I can walk down here and it'll be safe. Or as safe as the Commonwealth gets. Ooh. Oh man, so uh... We're already seeing a Brotherhood encounter. I think that's Gunners fighting the Brotherhood? And yeah, they're real close to the Super Mutants, so I've obviously aggroed them. I was, yeah, I was just looking for that bridge over there, and going slightly off course, but... Now I kind of want to see... Oh, there's a Legendary Gunner there. Yeah, the Brotherhood are doing well. Oh dear. Oh dear, they're not going to be doing well for long. Oh, you can see him just raising the arms. <laughs> oh, there goes my bird to bird. Alright, I'm going to go a little bit further back. Because, yeah, I don't want a stray missile to hit me. Oh, the mutants just wiped them out. Now, I'd really like to loot them, but I'd much rather just be alive. So I think I'll leave them be, but yeah. There'll be vertebrates just flying about the place from here on out. That is something I'll have to accept. But, you know, it's kind of weird. I I just recorded... Will this come out afterwards? Yeah, this will come out a day after the Skyrim video. The latest Skyrim video, which I just recorded before this, was me getting into the point where dragons will be in the world. And this game, I've managed to get to the point where the Brotherhood shop and now vertebrates are everywhere. It's just a nice bit of symmetry between the two series. 
getting to this point a lot faster in the uh, Fallout 4 challenge run, but that is down to the fact that doing this will uh, help me... There's a... Uh, yeah, boy. Yeah, I need to do this on the Fallout 4 run early, whereas on the Skyrim one it was better for me to put it off as long as possible. Now, I don't want the Yowai to even spot me. But it is staring exactly this way. So... Yeah... Hmm... Alright, we're gonna go sneaky sneaky and hope and it just doesn't view me as a threat, and I can run to Overland Station just there if need be. Like, I'd love to get another one of those towers up and running, because there's just something in my brain which says I need to do it. But I can ignore and override that part of my brain, and we can just sneak over to the safety of that little settlement, and then it should be an easy walk to Diamond City to chat with Nick. Here we are. In Valentine's Detective Agency, and yep, they're talking about me. Speak of the devil. You're yeah. back, and not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with ya? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you wanna head there together, just say so. I'll head there on my own. Alright, see you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. There we are. Reunions is completed. Oh, has new loot spawned in? Uh, some new loot has. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, a gold watch. Okay, lovely. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, so Nick is going to head to the memory den. Oh, the ammo didn't recharge. And we're gonna go somewhere different. Well, if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. While Nick heads to Good Neighbor, I am returning to the Brotherhood of Steel, to the little outpost in the... <laughs> I'm slightly scared here, I can't remember if there's danger. Uh, because I want to go to the Pridwin. It's quite important I get up there safe and sound, so I'm being a little cautious. But this area in general should be okay. My biggest concern is any mines I'm not aware of. So I'm going to tap the VATS button occasionally, but it should all be safe. Look, that's the back of the police station. Yeah, this is all good. Wait, did I just hear a gunshot? It feels like I heard a gunshot, but I could just be insane. Or maybe it was in real life, who knows? Oh, I can't go around that way, all right. Oh, come on, please be- all right, there is. There is a way around here, perfect. And look, oh, people were telling me I need to, like, loot the garage and stuff, which... Did I do? No, I hadn't looted the garage, so good shout everyone who said that. The garage... Paladin Dance has been looted. Inside, recruit. Thank you very much, Initiate. Yeah, here's the little garage. Which is actually, like, fully opened up now they're in charge, but you can open it up from the inside. Otherwise, and oh, marks. look at you! Spent a whole case of You've got a Gatling this. laser. That means we missed all the fun. Oh, no this is this oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, we <laughs> we've got a fully defended little outpost here, which is gorgeous to see. And here is the man we're looking for. Oi! Shush, initiate! Don't shout in my ear while I'm trying to talk to dance. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. It's gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Yay! We get aboard the bird, a bird, you but got first... Your yeah, Move yeah, like you got a purpose. Yeah, shut it, buddy. First, I am gonna steal some loot from this place. I don't have much carry capacity left. Um, yeah, I've really not got much. But I also can ditch most of the stuff I'm carrying, so... Do a quick little loot, and then we'll head up onto the roof. On the roof, and oh, look at it. There's a beautiful vertebrate up here now. Uh, where did Dance go? I've lost Dance somehow, but... Oh yeah, there's a little eyebot down there, I guess. Um, I'm sure he'll be here? Probably? Man, I really hope this doesn't bug out in some way. Now I am, yeah, I am put on the minigun, but I'm not gonna fire it. I figure as long as I don't fire it, that's, that's fine. So instead we just get, yeah, we just get a flight of a commonwealth. And if I do it like this, we go in third person, can see, oh, look at, no, look, look at me. Look at me and little dog meat. Dog meat looks so cool on the bird bird. He's leaning into it. Oh, badass. Oh, it's... So cool. Oh yeah, the the ground as well. One thing I don't particularly like about Fallout 4 is the render distance is not great, so yeah, there's just a lot of boxes that you're flying over rather than a great view. Keep in mind this game's like the best part of the decade old at this point, and my PC is more than good enough to run it on top settings, so this is... This is about as good as it ends up looking. Ow! Who shot me? I... Man, I better not get shot and killed while I'm on here. That'll be horrible. But they've been blinded by rumors uh, yep. and misinformation. They yeah, they're all blind. Yes. Brotherhood only. That's clearly... That's the dogma everyone needs. Alright, uh... I think that's enough of the cool view and the... 
journey. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll just head over to the Bridwin there, and it all will be good. There she is, the Pridwin. Just up in the sky there. Oh, <laughs> yep. There she is indeed. That's, yeah. This is genuinely quite cool. This is, this is a cool moment. Oh, yeah. Come on, fly up there. Discover the Pridwin and get me some extra XP as well. We already got XP for discovering the uh, airport by flying over it, which is nice. And now, such a janky landing maneuver. Like, we should not be slowing down the rotors before we're grabbed. <laughs> that totally would not work. But there we go. It's time to attend the debriefing. Uh, good thing about being in power armor is that even if I do accidentally walk off the edge, that's not me done in. Here we go, debriefing time. Yeah, go on, dance. Move a bit faster up there. Permission there we to come go. Aboard, sir. Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Excuse me, Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. I think I've already proven that you're wrong. A Brotherhood soldier earns merit by respecting the ideals created by our Elder, not by simply killing the enemy and following orders. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. No questions, buddy. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Yep, and let's do that. Let's go to the command deck and listen to the speech real quick. This uh, it won't be too long. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and are beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. 
Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. How can a machine believe it's alive? It's ridiculous. There we go. Got to listen to the little speech. I'm sure there'll be a fair few people who are big brotherhood stands, so I made sure to listen to that just for you, okay? Now let's have a I chat with Maxon. The, the people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us, seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers. You couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Oh, I, I, man, I really want to be like, yes, I'll do my best, but I've got to see what the sarcastic option is. <laughs> a knight? What is this? The Dark Ages? Judging from the state of the world, it wouldn't be a stretch to say we're living in that era again. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Ta-da! There we go. We've unlocked. Yep. That place. Uh, I've now got a storage container and stuff, which I'm actually going to head towards because I need to sleep to end the episode. Here we are. Got myself. Oh, a fusion core. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. How did you know? I also have a bed and many other beds I can sleep in. And oh, there's more fusion cores just lying around that I can take. Oh, this is. This is beautiful. Alright, I'm going to. Hop out the power armor, be super over encumbered, so I will just, yep, sleep. Uh, I'm gonna get eight hours. Let's just sleep for eight hours, then we'll have the save dropped and a full night's rest. There we go. Oh damn! What I got ill from that? I'm parched and red rockets under attack. Okay, that was the worst night's sleep I've ever had. Uh, I'm not well rested. What? I thought this was a proper bed. How is this not a proper bed? That was eight hours. And look at everything that's gone wrong. Alright, well, I'm going to stay in this menu because I don't want the periodic damage. But thank you all for watching. Uh, we killed Kalogre like crazy fast, which has meant I've now made it over to the Pridwin. And next time, we're getting a new suit of power armor. Uh, next time, I'll also tell you the huge flaw that I realized during this episode because my plans are going to have to change, because I did not think ahead to a certain quest that I can't do, but I'll leave that till the next episode. For now, please leave a like if you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.